Some summits end in such disarray they seem like disaster areas. This year's G8 is taking place in one. For the annual summit of the world's top economies, Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi is hosting his counterparts amid the rubble of Italy's deadly April earthquake. President Barack Obama got a tour of the devastation, seeing some of the thousands of homes and businesses that were wrecked. Indeed, aftershocks here in central Italy's Abruzzo region have continued this past week. As a result, this may well be the first G8 summit whose extensive security plan includes an emergency evacuation of world leaders should another earthquake strike. Meantime, leaders huddling at a Spartan police barracks looked over this year's summit gift, an art book with a real marble cover, and pondered the heavy lifting ahead on the reeling world economy. In a summit statement, they agreed it's too soon to heed German calls to pull back on fiscal stimulus. It was a consensus view that uh, we are still in the midst uh, of, uh, of an economic downturn, that there, while there are some positive signs, there's also uncertainty and risk out there. Also on the summit agenda, whether Iran's post-election crackdown requires new sanctions, what to do about North Korea's continued weapons testing, and whether to take new steps to fight global warming. That is, beyond driving up to summit sessions in pollution-free electric cars, or in Obama's case, walking. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, L'Aquila, Italy.